Welcome to ITI, welcome to Valencia Summit. A big challenge for us to organize and host this big event with more than 350 people attending, 25 sponsors and uh, more than 36 parallel sessions. This year the motto is uh, big data driving business. So we can see this week over 300 uh, attendees in industry from large to small, academia, research, uh, uh, technology providers, uh, as well as public bodies, including the EU Commission. First of all, I would like to thank the organizers for the excellent organized event. It is great to see that more than 300 people uh, came to discuss the data economy. If we speak at European level about the data economy, it is important to realize the industry advantages, the business uh, opportunities. It is strongly related to the digital single market. It addresses also the digitizing the European industries and the building the data economy. And the big data value public-private partnership plays hereby an excellent and very important role. So big data technologies can help us tackle some of the most important challenges that are facing society. Everything from energy to mobility to also improving the quality of life of, of people all over the world. And big data can be used to help, uh, to help improve uh, healthcare and, and a number of different sectors. The reason big data is so important is that it, is that it allows us to maximize the resources that we have to deliver the most value uh, for Europe. So um, that's the reason why data analytics is quite important for us, quite important to improve uh, the production, our own production, but also especially uh, because we are shipping also some kind of uh, automation systems to our customers, also to help our customers to improve uh, their production, to improve the quality, to be more efficient, to be more flexible. That's what is driving us and uh, as you can imagine, data analytics is one of the, let's say, uh, key topics because when you collect the data from the plant, when you get precisely what is the working condition of the machine, where you can really maybe calculate directly in the, at the machine to improve uh, the machine behavior with data analytics, with yeah, pattern mining, with learning machines. However, you can have a huge bunch of different methods in the data analytics area which you can do, use and improve and get value out of the data. After years of developing of technologies for artificial intelligence, we have come to a point where technology is being disrupted by use of data. In CE List, we are developing all kinds of technologies in the complete value chain over the, over the chain of, day, of data management and data intelligence. CE List is an institute of 800 uh, researchers located in the region of Paris, France, and has been developing for years technologies on uh, uh, digital transformation. of data we are talking of really big business today and even bigger business in the years to come. We estimate today that the data economy is 50 billion euros 
but our, our studies tell us that in 2020, that means only in four years' time, it, they will, it will more than double. We are talking about reaching a figure of 111 billion euros of the value of the data economy. So the opportunities are going to be huge. The challenges are going to be huge. So we have to work together between the public and the private sector in how we shape that economy and how we build the expertise and the capacity to have Europe at the forefront of that sector. And even if uh, there have been new events uh, such as Brexit, which have uh, reduced uh, a little bit the perspectives of economic growth and increased uncertainty. We still think that the European uh, data economy remains a very important uh, uh, potential. Up to 2020, we estimate something which can grow up to 4% of the European GDP. I mean, the European Commission has got great expectations on, on the Big Data Value Association. We think it's a unique forum for putting together all the expertise from industry, from academia, from legal experts, from economists that have to work together to tell us and, uh, and we have to work together to shape the future. BDVA is uh, something very important because we have noticed the value of data is the most important thing towards our customers. For example, Thales has developed infrastructure technology solutions and now these are driven more and more with the use of data. It's why Thales Communications and Security can offer data analytics and the confidentiality and security associated to the usage of this data. The Big Data Value Association is a wonderful place to meet with other colleagues and work with them and with the European Commission in the definition of the priorities for the future work programs. Both strategically and tactically and for us uh, the most important thing is to actually have tangible projects where we can help deliver on the BDVA uh, initiative. Uh, we're working together, uh, we have a memorandum of understanding, and we're working together on skills and entrepreneurship uh, opportunities uh, to help uh, increase uh, big data applications, big data usage, and help our large partners and smaller companies take advantage of it. The hardware and the software in uh, one institute, building essentially a research institute in Flanders that has um, uh, a leverage of 3,500 research. So the team we brought here in the uh, conference is essentially that we think that the distributed nature of the solutions will become more and more important in the big data domain. We kind of um, explained that we think that not only um, the everything connected team, but also distributed trust and security and distributed data science will become key elements of um, future solutions. So we kind of reached out to the community here, the big data community represented here in, uh, at the BDVA summit to work with IMEC um, in, let's say, all types of different cooperation models that we can offer, really um, trying to build together. Active in a technical task force and in a data analytics task force where we have uh, active involvement in there. In, uh, where we're contributing to the state of the art and to the uh, update of the strategic research and innovation agenda. And we are Mosaica, the Humanizing Technologies Lab, and our entire business revolves around data and va data value, as we provide data as a service facilities in different verticals. Uh, we are very happy to be part and to contribute to this community. Uh, we have decided to support that event because we think it highly contributes uh, to increase the potential of big data value. And BDVA uh, offer an excellent opportunity for EGI and all its partner, uh, the NGI, the CERN and EMBL, to put its human and technical assets at the service of industries and SMEs across Europe and to seize and accelerate the big data value chain momentum. For VTT, uh, big data is a, it's a central topic. We have uh, about 200 people uh, in big data research and it's in extremely important for us. The Big Data Value Association is bringing together data owners and data users in Europe together with technology providers 
to create new uh, big data value solutions that can help us transform industry. And my objective of participating in the Big Data Summit is to learn more about the big data activity in Europe. And uh, for me, uh, the event was very interesting. Uh, it was the first time that uh, I came into touch with the big data com community. healthcare it's uh, crucial. It's crucial in several ways. The first, of course, is to give in more tools to the doctors in order to be more countable and more easy the clinical practice. Too. But uh, in terms of research, it is very, very relevant that uh, we can try to segment populations in terms that uh, the old definition of diseases, all classification of diseases are uh, going to change in the future by using this uh, healthcare using database. I work in, in, in travel and tourism and we really need big data to understand what's going on now and what's, what, what we have to face in the future. And this event is a really great event. We are uh, fi uh, finding new ideas, we are discussing new ideas and we are doing network, which is great if we want to work all together. Uh, for the big data sector and for the tourism, travel and tourism sector in Europe. EIT Digital drives the digital transformation of Europe and for us value creation is the biggest part of that. Skills, entrepreneurship and innovation are the things we're very focused on. We're very glad to be part of the partnership. Really important topics which need to be solved to bring big data um, to a stage where a, a large share of um, actors in Europe ranging from industry but also including academia and governments and citizens, individuals, to, to really benefit from the opportunities that big data provides on a global scale. and the domain knowledge from finance to health uh, to also tourism, for instance, is very important for the different actors to understand how they can apply their own technologies. But I think the main challenge is a culture change within organizations. And we need to help uh, bring new talents with a new approach on how to handle data and how to understand people, not only from uh, their socio-demographic figures but also from their behavior. Very important for us to understand the kinds of externalities and impacts that this industry is also creating. Some, some of them being societal externalities and societal impacts, some of them being positive and some of them being very negative. Um, some of those negative impacts can be things like opacity, mass scale deployment of algorithms and, and related to issues of algorithmic governance or uh, the kinds of damages that have been done. And so therefore I think that here in Europe as we embark upon building massive sort of uh, a data driven of an industry which, which brings together the convergence of artificial intelligence, IoT, machine learning, natural speech processing, it is important for us to take a responsible view towards that and to mitigate the risks that are being created by this particular industry as well. As part of the digital single market, data is a huge priority. We are going to be dedicating big efforts to this in the coming years. We will be doing this together with the stakeholders, together with the constituencies. And today, this event of the Big Data Value Association and this summit is a wonderful opportunity to pull forces together, to hear views, and to work with all the constituency for what we hope will be a very good joint endeavor that will give a huge uh, lots of returns to the European economy.
I hope that next year we can not talk only about 350 companies here, but basically about 1,000 companies that have already tested big data technologies and are already happy with their results and can show the way their businesses are transforming into data-driven economies. I think the challenge for us next year is to bring here a lot of telecom operators, a lot of transport operators, public administration, uh, companies working in the energy sector, in manufacturing, in agri-food, all these companies should tell the benefits of big data technologies in the industries. I think we really have to work to show success stories, return on investment and to provide very clear views on the progress of the different technologies that European partners are developing in the context of this PPP. Valencia is a very nice place to be at. It's, it's, not, only, it's not only work, it's also uh, having fun. I think this is a very, very nice place. Thank you.